Well, finally, we're going to talk about something other than medical care. The summer was saturated with the news and discussion and all the town hall meetings about what we're going to do about health care in this country. Even though that is a very important subject and it's going to continue for a few months longer, uh, right now, though, the Congress is starting into a debate which I consider every bit as important, if not a lot more important. That has to do with Afghanistan. They're talking about debating whether or not we should send more troops into Afghanistan. And fortunately, I see some of the Democrats now splitting from the president on this issue. The president has always maintained we need more troops. This is the good war. He calls it the long war, but it's the good war, not like Iraq. That was the bad war. And uh, now that there's a split, there is a chance that we might be able to slow up this interventionism in this region. But uh, right now, though, it looks like uh, the president will prevail because presidents generally do prevail because they'll scare the people and they'll say, if you don't, our national security will be threatened. The one thing for certain is our national security is not threatened by us not being in Afghanistan. Our national security is much more threatened by us being in Afghanistan or for that region, uh, for that reason, any place in that region at all. That's where our real uh, problems come from. It is argued that they need 240,000 more troops and some say, well, let's just train the Afghan people. And we need 130,000 police trained uh, Afghan people to do this. But who's going to pay for this? And it won't do any good. If we have a puppet government there and Karzai's running and it's our money and the troops are doing our bidding, we're still occupiers. It won't help. It'll still move us toward bankruptcy and it doesn't solve the problem one bit. But at least this discussion is getting out. I consider it very, very dangerous what's happening over there. At the same time, we're talking about expanding the war in Afghanistan and Pakistan. There's, no, there's a relentless outcry about the Iranians and us trying to aggravate uh, the Iranians into some type of a, of a, of a conflict. But up until now, we have uh, uh, continued the same old process, the same foreign policy. Uh, we were led to believe with the Obama administration that policies might change, but the same people control foreign policies as they do monetary policy. And uh, we, will, we will see our presence there for a long time until we go bankrupt. And so many nations have gone bankrupt because of their overseas militaristic uh, policies. And we're embarking on the same, uh, same approach. Uh, I'm sure Osama bin Laden is laughing and the Russians are laughing at us because we're more or less trapping ourselves in this pretense that we are going to spread democracy and goodness around the world. Last week, they finally got around to investigating the NATO bombing when some civilians got killed. And they've come up with the number that 99 civilians were killed. But our side keeps saying, oh, no, they were all terrorists. You know, the definition of a terrorist uh, it used to be that uh, the, the so-called terrorists, uh, when they were fighting the Soviets, we called them the freedom fighters. But now they are the terrorists. Regardless, when Muslims are killed with our presence over there, uh, we anger more and more people. And that's why I argue that our national security is, is more threatened because of our bankruptcy. At the same time, we just anger more and more people. There's a lot to be said, what the founders tried to get us to follow, and that is mind our own business, stay out of the entangling alliances of people around the world, and stay out of nation building. That day will probably come, but it will come on the heels of a bankruptcy because we're moving rapidly toward that direction as we see the dollar tumble and our deficits skyrocket. But the sooner we come to our senses, the better off we all would be.